So here is my contemplation spot. I come here whenever I feel like I don't want to speak, I just want to absorb and I want to feel the city. I want to feel its bit. I want to feel I want to feel it completely and me little creature here. I think what really pushes me to create art is injustice and the dirt of humanity. And I think I what, we, what I create, I want to highlight that part, but also want to highlight the fact that human beings are actually capable to be better than what it is now. Um, it's a living creature, it's making a mess, it's uh, creating disasters and kill and uh, we disappoint one another, so I think we have a lot to work on, but I think it's possible to make a, a substantial change in ourselves in order to then change society. So my work really focuses on these elements and sometimes it already puts on earth what it doesn't exist yet. So for example, I created this performance, it's called The Last Soldier, where this soldier is working very slow motion with a a lily flower and a tufa stone, which is the past. The lily flower is the future and I work on a border town. So I really put on earth the image of a last soldier, which is a soldier that doesn't have a fight anymore. That there is nothing to fight anymore. So it's just bringing peace. And that's for me the image that I bring on earth. It exists, even if it's Let's say it's just a poetic action, but I made it exist and that's what I do with my art. I manifest my hope for humanity. You know, here in New York, actually, you know, I'm... Um, yeah, of course I go around, I see the city and I work, but I'm also a dancer. So here I joined a lot of dance, uh, dance spaces. I do a lot of contact improvisation and contemporary dance. Uh, so I met a lot of people and uh, it's amazing to see these beautiful spaces here in New York, these beautiful dance spaces with this old wooden floor which is really well maintained. It, it's really great dancing on, on, on the New York uh, dance floors. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I have another um, dance training to do and uh, Wednesday I'll do some contact improvisation. I already found amazing dancers here to dance with and it's amazing how many different classes and trainings uh, there are around. Tomorrow actually someone invited me also to some kind of breath healing work and that's also a powerful tool for, for opening up. Uh, the consciousness and uh, the other day you see that bridge I'm not sure the name of it but anyway the other day I was around there it's so beautiful especially now now it's um, you know the, the evening is coming the lights are gonna come on it's beautiful and by the way uh, yesterday I've been to Matthew Barney uh, exhibition secondary uh, which takes place in his studio space, which is also a really beautiful corner of New York um, in Long Island City. I also had some ideas to, to perform something, but uh, anyway, right now I'm really focused on the, the performance of the mass protester, which will take place in the subway and also like in some parts of uh, central Manhattan, I guess. Uh, so I'm preparing and brainstorming for that. Um, last night uh, on that roof down there, we had a beautiful presentation with, uh, with the other resident artists, with the filmmaker Louis Detroit, uh, and it was like really, really great vibe. And um, people really appreciated the presentation. And it's weird, you know, when people, you know, people was there uh, listening to four people speaking and I was worrying maybe they get bored, but actually the audience here is very receptive and they were very happy to hear about our work. So I'm very, very satisfied. And New York is giving me a lot. It's giving me a lot in terms of uh, connections and uh, also things to do and a lot of experience, new experiences. I worked uh, internationally and each different city gives me a different, uh, yeah, enriches me in a different way and the people I meet enriches me in a different way. So uh, the New York experience is definitely one of my 
milestone experiences that are really helping me to grow as an artist and as a person. Anyway, I'm not a parkour guy, but I really like rooftops here in New York. And you know, like I live in England usually and uh, nothing is allowed. <laughs> you cannot walk on the roof, you know, you cannot uh, light a candle in the house. So here in New York, I'm feeling a bit of freedom.